Hello guys, welcome back to another Boomich video. So today I got all Scorchers versus Dr. Terror, but there's a small little twist. As soon as I land them, I cannot touch them. I cannot control them. So basically, I cannot use the flare. I mean, I could I could use everything else but the flare. So it's a, it's I I I would say like it's a no it's like the step back challenge, not a no flare challenge, just a step back challenge. And I think that's what I'm going to name it cuz I'm going to be stepping back and not using flares and we're gonna see how well it works usually with scorchers on higher level bases you'd want to use flares but you know what I'm just kinda living life on the edge I'm also trying to drop metals so I could kind of collect some data cause I know a lot of people have a hard time collecting data on stuff so I'm gonna collect a lot of data while I push up and you guys will kinda see that I don't know if I'll post it or not but I just need to collect some data on Boom Beach because like as you guys know the Boom Beach team does not release anything they don't like tell you anything so I thought it would be cool to collect some data and nobody else has done what I'm thinking about doing so I don't know if I'm gonna make it a video it might actually it might actually make a good video but I'm planning on dropping down to around 600 metals and then I will start it because at 600 metals I, I believe it's 600 it might be 400 I'm, I'm pretty sure it's 600 six, 600 metals and up uh, you're base there's like a whole totally new matchmaking system or something that matches people up with you not matches you up with people um so yeah we'll see how that works and i'll kind of explain it when i do that but it's going to be a little while because i'm at 688 and i need to drop all the way down to 600 and i'm probably won't be dropping down that far because it takes so long to drop and i can't like clear my map at all or my victory points rock it back up so yeah you guys will see all that when the video comes out. So, yeah, I'm not going to be boosting up my Gumbo Energy for this challenge either. Because even though Gumbo Energy would boost these Scorchers up so much, it's just not worth it because this is just a plain challenge video. And we're going to drop a barrage on the cannon. Not like the cannon does anything. It's just, we'll just take it out anyway. Drop a few artillery on the HQ. Um, and... Yeah, we'll be taking that down. You know what? I think I'll call it the no flare challenge because if I save a step back challenge, then it, might, it, it kind of implies that I won't touch my screen at all, which is not the case. So it's definitely the no flare challenge. And we eventually we're going to have to get kind of precise where we place these flags because those flags are like the only flares we get. And they do act as flares while the scorchers are on the beach up to the flares. Up to the flag so like this scorcher had to run all the way up to that flag there which disappeared why do you disappear but yeah that's kind of how flags work we're gonna take down this because that's a pain that's such a pain no already on tier stage five or dr t okay guys you caught me once again and we're just gonna watch these it's flame versus flame Flame versus flame, who's gonna win? Definitely the Scorcher Flame. Scorcher Flame is like a hundred times more powerful than the Flame f Thrower Flame. That's a tongue twister. Not really. Just my tongue got twisted when I said that. Okay. Hopefully I won't like mess up and forget that I'm doing a challenge and like place a flare. Because that would suck a lot. And we're just gonna hit attack. So, should we just go straight in? Or should we spread them out? See, if we spread them out, I usually I don't recommend spreading out your scorchers. But if I spread them out here, then the shock launchers won't shock all of them at once. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, normally, if you're using scorchers, you'll have flares. So you won't need to do that. See what I did there? That scorcher soaked up both of the shocks. And again, it soaked up both of the shocks. And these scorchers are able just to come in and clear the area. Yeah, I might lose that one scorcher. But it's worth it because all that extra health I saved is yeah it, it's totally worth it so we're gonna be taking down this one more should do it and that was kind of okay I did hit it um oh gosh okay these scorchers over here are getting wounded we're gonna drop a couple shocks now just trying to keep some scorchers alive because scorchers do cause a lot of diamond street train it's like 19 or 22 for one this guy over here is he ran over the mines. He got killed by the mines. That's pretty rare when you see something like that. Because the boom mine only does like a thousand die. Oh, dang it. I don't know how much the boom mine does. Is it like 1,500? I don't know. I'll look after this battle if I remember. Um, and I'm not going to gym these up because I'm broke. And I'm saving up for the update. So we're just going to have to do a jump cut. 
and here we go, we're just going to drop a couple artillery, I'm very surprised we took this out, not sure how well the next one's going to be, like I explained in my Scorcher Ultimate Tips and Tricks video, um, I kind of explained that Scorchers, like, you don't, oh yes, like I was explaining in my Ultimate Tips and Trick video, I was saying that you don't want to take out bases that have high amounts of HP, and it, it, Dr. T Stage 7 has the highest amount of HP, so I, that's like really big. Dropping down with metals has different effects, like I, effects, effects, I don't care. Um, like, I won't be getting a good victory point reward. Like, usually I would get eight, I think nine is my highest, nine shards. I don't know, I don't remember how high that was. I was like at 890 once. I was so close to 900, and then I just stopped playing. So, what's up with that? I don't know. We are saving up our loot. We just got a couple more upgrades left on the map. Oh, yes, we need to check this out. Max level boom mine does 5,000. Okay, and Scorchers have 40, over 50, 55,000. So, yeah, all those of our buildings took the Scorch down 50,000, and the boom mine just finished them off. And, yeah, all I got left to upgrade are this sniper tower, this sniper tower, this flame, that flame, and that flame. So, three flames, two sniper towers. Which is a total of how long? One day, two hours. One day, six hours. Two days, four hours. One day, six hours. Two days, three days. About six, seven, eight, five, six days. If I were to upgrade something every no, about seven days. Seven days or six days. Every, if I were to upgrade something every single time, I can upgrade something. Look okay, at we had a one percent chance of invasion rate. Anyway. We'll come back once our scorches are all trained up. Okay, guys, here we go. We got our troops almost all trained up. Oh, giddy, giddy surprise, guys. What's it going to be? We will find out in four days and 22 hours. And three days is when the Boom Beach timers go off that they sent with uh, their unhelpful box of tools. So let's think about this base logically, okay? Now, there's no shock launcher, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, but... If I go and I deploy my troops spread out like the last one, they're going to get way too spread out because there's so much HP on these buildings. It's going to take forever for the buildings to go down and return. Our troops are all going to die. So I need to keep them as close together as possible. Um, if I deploy them all at one side, then they're going to... If I well, Okay, we're going to end the battle here because I don't want to waste extra time because like with a lot of HP, it could take a while. If I deploy them from this side... They're going to go up here. They're going to start spreading out. Um, maybe half of them will get to the HQ. And then they'll start spreading out down here. Um, that will help us avoid all this stuff. And those, this stuff will kill off a few Scorchers. So we're only going to be left with, I'm guessing, four Scorchers at the HQ. Or around the HQ even. It won't be at the HQ because I can't use Flares. Or if I go from this side, they'll go up. I'm guessing less will go up because more will spread out this way. So definitely the way to go is the right side. Or I could just go for the middle. Uh, that might be nice. No, we're all going to go from the right side here. And watch this. All the Scorchers have to follow the flares. That's just a way they're built. No shock launchers, so I don't have to worry about them clumping up. The good thing about them clumping up on this type of base, guys, is they're going to do high amounts of DPS in, with this little clump that they're creating, this little cult. Um... Let's do a shock here because I don't want to have that boom cannon shoot at all. And we are about to lose a Scorcher already, which is bad. That is so bad. But the boosted the damage that it, that it destroyed was pretty good. Um, we're going to watch our troops spread out here. Another one got lost on the top. I'm not, I'm not going to beat the base. I don't even think I could beat this base if I was using flares. Actually, I might be able to. I don't know. Uh... Okay, we're just going to keep trying to move away and go up here. Uh, it'd be nice if I could use a flare, but alas, I can't use a flare. Um, I'm just watching my troops all die. We are out of energy, so the next thing we need that will actually help is 23 or 22 energy. We probably won't be able to get another one. If I had a flare, I would flare back here, and then I would hit it, and I would probably get the HQ down a lot. Maybe not beat it, but it would go down a lot. So... I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm scared. I am very scared. Uh, we're going to be taking out the cannon and the sniper tower. Because that is definitely the bigger threat against us. We're not going to use any more. Just, yeah, that, that will take it down. See, if these troops just stay here. Please stay. 
Please stay, Scorger. Please do me well. Please just don't go anywhere. Just stay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um. Okay, okay, okay. If we take down the rocket launcher, it won't fire. Um, and then we could deploy a couple critters. But how much will it actually take to take down the rocket launcher? I don't know. Um. We will... I'm, I'm guessing we're going to be able to beat the base. Uh, we'll take, put critters on. We're going to take one, two. Yeah, we don't have enough. It would have been better using a barrage. And it looks like we're going to be able to pull off a victory. This is rare when I have a challenge that actually defeats Dr. T. That is the rarest thing ever. And we got one Scorcher left. That Scorcher. If he would have ran all the way down here, I would have lost. But instead, he stays up here and he owns it. This is non-boosted, which is very, very, very rare. But to be honest, if it was even a one shock launcher, I would be so dead. So I'm so glad there was no shock launchers. But here we go. We were able to get a successful victory. We have one Scorcher left. And I am very, very happy right now. We need 30. Okay, we're not going to be able to build a masterpiece. But thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to drop a like. As always, I will talk to you guys on the next one. Bye.